This recording demonstrates how to set up dynamic link. I have a clean Linux environment with minimum path. You see that Virtuoso and ADS is not in my path. I'm going to first set up cadence. This is just a temporary variable as a shorthand. This is my cadence installation directory. So I will insert cadence root directory slash tools slash bin and cadence installation root tools slash df2 slash bin in front of my path so that virtuoso will be fine found in my path. Now for ADS, I need to set up and export HP software to my ADS installation root. This is my ADS 2021 update to installation directory. I also need to insert dollar HP software slash bin in front of my path. Now ADS is also in my path. So in addition to adding paths for cadence and ADS, I also need to set up license. So for cadence, I define CDS leak file. And for ADS, I set up ADS license file that points to my license server. Being able to run Cadence Virtuoso and ADS standalone is prerequisite for using Dynamic Link. Now I'm copying a Dynamic Link examples directory to the current directory. I'm going to check what's in this examples directory. So this examples directory contains, among other files and directories, a cadence cds.lib file. It is using analog lib and basic from cadence installation and we created an examples library for demonstrating dynamic link. There is an ADS example workspace called examples underline WRK. Under the examples workspace, there is a, an ADS open access lib.devs file. It includes ADS analog IF.dev files and includes DSP depth file, which is for autonomy. And we also created a small ADS example library called examples underline lib. A very important file is this example.cds init file. And in this dot cds init file, the most critical line is this line that loads the dynamic link example dot cds init file. It's under dollar hp software slash idf slash config directory. And this 
dynamic link sample the CDS init file. Loads it loads dynamic link ads.ini file. It is a skill file. This skill file sets up a cadence environment for dynamic link. And it also loads uh, all the skill context file. Actually, a skill context file that contains all the skill code for dynamic link. And I'm looking for a load statement that uh, loads here. It uh, loads ads.cxt. The ads.cxt file again contains all the skill code used by dynamic link. Uh, also for Golden Gate tools and Momentum Virtuoso and uh, IF Pro. Note that there is no newer context version than 618. If you are using, say, IC ADV 20.1, uh, it will load this uh, 618 context file, which will also work. Next, I'm sourcing this setcsf.ksh file in my cone shell. Uh, sourcing this file will do two things. First, it will set CDS load EMV to CSH. And then the second thing, it will add this .hps of the IDF ADS site to your setup.log file. And now, I can. this needs to be set up before starting Virtuoso. So this uh, CDS load EMV equals CSF. This is required by Cadence for all third party tools uh, integrated into Cadence like uh, Dynamic Link. So in this setcsf.ksh file, I added comment explaining what this script does. Yeah, again, uh, first thing is define this CTS load EMV equals CSF variable, and then add the dollar hps of the slash idf slash ads site to set up the log file. Here is a C shell version, so if you are using C shell, you can source this file before starting Virtuoso. Again, I have the same comment about those two things. Sourcing this file will accomplish. Using a cadence command cds which to find which is the setup the log file. 
it's the one under the current directory because the first time I sourced the set csf.ksh it copied that set up the log file to my current directory and then make changes that is to add that idea site line to the file uh, in CAW you will see that ads.cxt is loaded now I'm opening an example power amp schematic cell view and when all is set up correctly in the schematic window when all is correct under schematic launch menu there should be ADS dynamic link menu clicking this menu item where start ADS and then when ADS is started you can bring this cadence schematic design over to an ADS schematic to do ADS simulation that's all for setting up dynamic link uh, to recap first I need to set cadence pass I have two cadence tools bin and tools df2 bin in the past and then I need to set HP software to my ADS installation directory and add dollar HP software slash bin to the path and I have to have uh, cadence and ADS license and there's a dynamic link example directory for your reference and in you can source the set csf.ksh or csf.csh before starting cadence or you can change your environment to do those two things as done by the C C CSF scripts that is you need to define CDS load the EMV equals CSF and also you need to add dollar HP software slash IDF slash ADS site to your cadence set up the log file and remember to load dynamic link that CDS init file this one shows uh, the ADS site line in setup.log so you use this uh, launch ADS dynamic link to start ADS and then once ADS started you should see this dynamic link menu in the cadence schematic so that, that's all uh, that's how you set up dynamic link thank you very much for watching